Monday afternoon, it seemed like just another routine flight from Detroit to Denver. There was slight turbulence when we were flying, but nothing out of the ordinary, no mention of anything. That was when Lynn Bennett looked out the window and saw this. We were like, whoa, that's different. <laughs> that's not what you usually see on a perfectly good airplane that we just flew in. The front end of the plane appeared to be dented or damaged, almost like it hit something mid-flight, since it wasn't there when they left Detroit three hours earlier. Usually, you know, with a bird strike or anything like that, you at least, they notify you, you can see something. It's kind of been a mysterious, nobody said anything. A spokesperson for Delta Airlines told Fox 31, crews received an indication of a mechanical issue in the nose of the aircraft, but the flight landed safely and taxied to the gate without incident. They added crews were able to repair the aircraft overnight, but a new aircraft took customers on the outbound flight from Denver to Salt Lake City Monday night with a four and a half hour delay. As someone whose hobby is planes and aviation, Bennett says she has never seen or heard of anything like this before. And I think that's the biggest exciting part of it all kind of is what happened. What is it? Why isn't Delta commenting about it? Just saying mechanical issues and they're going to fix it. Well, why is it a mechanical issue? What happened? Yeah, well, that's the big thing, isn't it? It is still a mystery, and there have not been any reports of the aircraft hitting anything mid-flight, but there have not also not been any reports of any customers or crew members being injured as well, which, of course, is the important thing. Live at DIA, Rachel Sauer, Fox 31. All right, Rachel, thank you.